everything that you see is designed to ensnare your mind, to control your thoughts, to limit your cognitive function to a base level. Our society has devolved to essentially a set of predetermined sexual responses. For your eyes to fall to certain points on a woman's body. And this, in turn, makes you more controllable as a man. It limits your potential and it limits your growth. And from the very moment you enter into society, when you enter into the world as it is, this is what you're bombarded with. You are pushed to the limit. The limit of self-control at an early age. And it's designed to make you believe that all that you are and all that you can ever attain is between a woman's legs. And that is your divining factor. That is what makes you a man. A sultry nature, the seductive nature. I believe that if a man can overcome his base desires, if you can push past the limiting effect of the one-dimensional thinking of lust, of wanting to get a release, then there's no limit to what you can do. There's no limit to the possibilities of your life. There's no limit to how far you can go. The truth is, everything has been put in front of you as a roadblock. And the biggest roadblock, the recurring roadblock, the thing that will always be there, the wall that is designed to stop you at every turn is a beautiful woman. Everywhere you go, no matter what you do, no matter what channels you listen to on YouTube, TikTok, FS Avenger, it all comes back. It all goes full circle and back to that woman. Period. It doesn't matter where she's from. It doesn't matter who her people are. What matters is that she's a woman and you're a man. That's what society tells you. That's all you need to know. And that's what you need to focus on. Because she is what gets you to the next level in this society. In corporate, the corporate level, the high stakes business transactions where you're constantly trying to make a buck, you're constantly trying to outthink the competitors, outthink your colleagues. It still ultimately boils down to a woman. Some people won't even enter into negotiations with you unless you're married. Because by being married, by shackling yourself to someone else, to some woman, it's a sign that you are supposedly stable that you have a fixed point and that all of your progress, all of your cognitive function goes to this fixed point. The reality is, to those of us that are truly aware, it says something else. It says that you are not only a fool, but you've fallen for the biggest game 
that the system has to offer. And you as a man in a society where you essentially have no rights, have signed away all of your freedom and financial possibilities. And you've given it up for 15 to 30 seconds of pleasure and a lifetime of pain. Most people never get to the point where they realize the truth of the situation. Most people can never look past the beauty of a woman to see what's really on this earth, what's really here, and what lies beyond, what true potential is, and not just for you to achieve in this world, but for you to be a true master. And a master is a master of himself and his environment. Most men never know what that means. Most men never get to the point where they can truly comprehend that they are born masters. You have to lower yourself to being something else. You lower yourself to be a boyfriend, a boy friend. You lower yourself to be a player. You lower yourself to be a pimp. As a man, you were born a master. I was born a master. Your father was born a master. And this is something that most men are never taught. Even in society, Western society in particular, if you go back to the penal codes, if you research them, they actively say that everyone until the age of about seven is a master from birth. It's only after the age of seven, when you supposedly start school, you sign over your right to be a master to then become what is known as a student. Again, lowering oneself. And from that point on, you lower yourself to become a driver. You lower yourself to become an accountant. You lower yourself to become a truck driver. You lower yourself to become, you know, whatever. As a man, you are more than base desire. You are more than the sum of a collected feeling of sensation in your crotch. You are more than a servant to a lesser being. When I look at women, I see the same things over and over again. You see essentially the same outfits. You see the same hairstyles the same face paint and the same poses and the same set of responses and predetermined outcomes to events that can only play out one of two ways. Either she says yes or she says no. Most men, they live their lives hoping that every woman they meet will say yes yes to a sexual encounter that does nothing but deprive you of your seed, the very essence of life. As men, we hold the seed of life inside of us. And it's only after we release it that it's able to grow and flourish. If we keep it inside of us, we regenerate, we don't age, we retain power. Every aspect of society is designed for you to never know this, for you to never achieve this, for you to simply be a man who lives, who works, and who dies. You cannot fall for a trap 
that every man before you has fallen into. Most men never look forward. They only look at a woman's chest, her hips, and her crotch, and occasionally her face. If you can't see past that, then you'll never see what's really in front of you. More importantly, you'll never see what's behind you. Some people say that you can kind of get a glimpse of the future by looking at the past. And what I mean by that is that if you look at the life of your father and how he lived, and if he died, the circumstances that led up to his death, you can either learn one of two things. You can learn what to do, or you can learn what not to do. And the wisest men learn both. Every man has a choice to give in to base nature or to rise above, to see all that is there and make decisions that are in his own best interest. Something to think about. Peace.